Hey guys, what's up? It's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming with another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we implemented a third tile type, the water tile, which you can see up here. Looks real pretty. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to expand upon our tile grid class even more, um, this time by creating the getters and setters for specific tiles. So if you go to your tile grid class, we're going to make two new methods here. The first one is going to be a setter. So public void set tile and it's going to take some arguments um, we're going to need the x coordinate as in what tile on the x plane we want to set the y coordinate for what tile on the y plane and the tile type to change the tile to and then inside these brackets it's easy we're just going to set map at x coordinate y coordinate to a new tile with that tile type so if you look right above it we're pretty much doing the same thing that we did in our switch statement And make sure you multiply that by 64 because you want to get the correct coordinates because the textures are 64 by 64 pixels. And you can just put type for the tile type. So let's go ahead and see if that works now. Um, let's go back up to our boot class. And let's find a good tile to change, something that we'll notice. So let's go in and uh, run the game real quick. You can see we have one little indent in this water. Um, so we're going to count it 0, 1, 2, three across and then zero one two three four down so the coordinates are three four three for x four for y so just run grid dot set tile three four and we'll change it to dirt that's something that we'll see pop up easier so after we do that let's go ahead and run it and see if it worked all right cool so this is important because it allows us to kind of dynamically change the map uh, either via an editor or something that we don't need to hard code uh, into our variable in the boot class. So now we're going to make a get tile uh, method, and that's going to return the type of tile instead of just a void. So we're going to need an x coordinate and a y coordinate, and that's all. And just make sure that you have a tile here, because we're not just doing something in the class, we're actually returning it back to where you call it from. And this will allow enemies or towers to kind of interact with the map and know what they're on. And all we're going to do is return map at x coordinate, y coordinate. All right, let's go back up to the boot class here. And we're going to go look at our map again. And what I want to do is I want to change this dirt tile we just made to the same tile that's right next to it. So we're going to get the tile type that's right next to it using our new method, and we're going to change it to that. So in our set tile method, get rid of the tile type dot dirt as the last argument. And instead, we're going to use our grid.getTile. And we're going to do the one right next to it. So let's give me 2, 4. And then after that, you're going to have to call the getType on the tile class. So that should change it to water because that's the tile type right next to it. Sweet. Looks like it worked. So this is just a way to dynamically kind of access and see the map as well as change it. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.